Security forces in Nigeria are sweeping through the country's largest force in search of nearly 300 children who were abducted from their school yesterday. Now, the students were surrounded by motorcycle riding gunmen and were forced to march into the forest just at the start of the school day. This is one of Nigeria's largest school kidnappings in a decade. So for more on this story, we've reached freelance reporter Ajak Mangut in uh, Abuja. Uh, so tell us what the latest is in the search for these hundreds of school children. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, the uh, government of uh, Kaduna State, where these uh, children were kidnapped in the northwestern part of Nigeria, uh, says that uh, security operation is ongoing to ensure uh, that they are returned back to their parents. Uh, yesterday, the governor of the state, Ubasani, met with the parents to assure them uh, that the government will do everything it can to ensure that uh, security forces or security personnel are able to bring back the students that were kidnapped and to ensure that uh, those who are responsible uh, for this attack are, are being punished or being uh, made to face uh, uh, the wrath of the law. Uh, but we understand that uh, a lot of the parents are in distress and they're worried and they're calling on the governments to ensure that uh, their, their children are brought back because we understand that uh, some of the uh, parents have all their children uh, attending uh, that school and then they, they were kidnapped just when they were having morning assembly. Uh, we've seen the president also ordering security agencies to ensure that uh, uh, these uh, children are brought back and reunited with their families. Now, when these uh, kidnappings happen in Nigeria, the, the kidnappers usually demand a ransom, uh, but we understand that they've not made contact uh, with the parents, so they're left in the dark uh, as to where their children are. Uh, no contact has been made yet as to what uh, uh, ransom they're expected to pay, but the government is saying that uh, they're working around the clock to ensure that uh, the, the students that have been kidnapped uh, are returned back to their parents. Is there any other type of response from officials to this mass kidnapping? Uh, well, we've seen the, the, the governor going down to the community to try and, and sympathize with the parents and to show support and to show that the government is doing something. Uh, but beyond that, the governor of the state, uh, Ubasani, has called for more uh, security posts uh, to be established uh, in that community and for military bases to also be established because uh, most of these uh, places where uh, these kidnappings take place mostly in the north, central, and northwestern parts of the country, uh, usually ungoverned places with uh, uh, large uh, uh, lands and forests where these kidnappers are able to take uh, their victims into the forest and then demand a ransom. And so we've seen uh, the governor calling for that and showing his support for the parents. Uh, the president, uh, Bola Tinubu, has also condemned uh, this attack and has ordered that those who are responsible uh, should be arrested and uh, the security personnel should ensure uh, that this uh, students, uh, more than 200, are uh, being reunited uh, with their parents. Uh, before this kidnapping, uh, we saw the president meet with uh, the governors of uh, the uh, 36 states of the country due to rising insecurity in the country. Uh, and they have agreed that uh, uh, state uh, police should be established across the states so that uh, they would uh, support uh, the national police in ensuring that uh, citizens in the different states are, are safe uh, from such attacks. I want to thank freelance reporter Ajak Mangut in Abuja.